and they will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Here's the reason why that scripture is used as our strategy and our real our vision is because when you read that and it says they will rebuild, they will restore, they will renew. Who is the they that that's referring to? Here is the they he's talking about. The spirit of the Lord, the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me. This is Jesus. The Isaiah was later prophesying what Jesus would say to preach good news to the poor is who he's talking about. The ones who are going to restore and renew and rebuild, they are the ones who first they started off as the poor. They started off as the broken hearted. First, they was the ones who was captives. They were the prisoners. But when God gets finished doing his marvelous work in their life, when the spirit of the Lord finishes or really gets an opportunity to comfort, they are the ones who used to be mourning. Mourning is a result of loss. You've lost a person. You lost a job. So it's a response. There's a time of mourning and grief whenever you lose, whenever there's been loss. Here's a wonderful thing. And he said, the spirit of God is present to provide for or console those who grieve in Zion. Those who grieve in Zion. The ones who are grieving in Zion right now will be the same ones who later they will restore and rebuild and renew. But the Lord does this powerful work of consoling those who grieve in Zion. I never knew the real meaning of, cons of consolation. I always thought console just kind of meant like, come here, dear. Like somebody's grieving, so you hug them. Oh, oh. That, that's not what consolation is. That's comfort for the morning. But that's not consoling. Console means you remove all sense of loss. Because the only thing that brings somebody out of grief, the reason why they're in grief is because of the loss. So how can you console them? You've got to remove the sense of the loss. You can't replace the loss, but you've got to remove the sense of the loss. And how does he do that? He says, I'm going to bestow on them a crown of beauty. A crown of beauty was connected to the place of royalty. A crown was given to a prince or a princess, a king or a queen. So first of all, I'm going to give you a crown of beauty for what? Instead of the ashes. Ashes means something's been lost. So he removes all sense of the loss by giving you a crown of beauty, a distinction. He places you in the place of authority. He places you in a place of accountability. He places you in a place of acceptance to remove the sense of loss. Here is who you really are. You're my son, you're my daughter, you're a prince, you're a princess. So compared to what you lost, look at all that you've gained. See, it removes the sense of loss. That's consolation.